Welcome. This is the Integrated Math 1 practice test for Tin Ready or TCAP, whatever. We're in subpart 1 where there's no calculators. Doesn't matter here because on question number 9, we'll need it. Uh, number 9 says, which pair best represents a causation relationship? Now, when we look at causation, we're comparing it to correlation. Correlation is when things happen together. Generally, sunshine and my happiness are correlated. Um, but I would have to go to a doctor to have him justify whether I could say it's causation, uh, although there are a lot of things that tend to work together. Causation is very contentious. People say, like, well, just because they're together doesn't mean that's what's causing it. It could be other things. But in this question, we're just looking at what best represents a causation relationship. What seems like, if we're going to say one of these... Uh, the one of the two things is causing the other, pick that one. That's what they're asking for. That's why it just says best. So the first one says the child's age and shoe size. Generally, you'll see that they go up. As ages go up, shoe sizes increase as well. But it doesn't necessarily mean that a specific child will have a specific shoe size at a specific age. You'll note, if you ever around kids and their shoes there's like so many different levels of shoes there's toddler numbers and then there's children numbers and then there's adult shoe sizes it's this whole thing it's very confusing but the reality is at best it's a correlation between those two so I might make a dot here to say like if nothing else I can come back to this uh, for B the number of ice cream cones sold and the amount of sunscreen sold that's true but uh, I mean a lot of times when you have some sunny areas you'll sell ice cream and also sunscreen. So there is a correlation often between those things, but the real causation is not because you have ice cream, you have sunscreen. The cause there would probably be that it's hot or there's a lot of sun out. Um, and also, you could eat ice cream in the winter. I have tons of family members who uh, enjoy an ice cream cone on occasion in the winter and they're not buying any sunscreen. And at the same time, some people just don't like ice cream. So you can have as much sunscreen as you want. So the causation there probably is very weak. I'd almost rank this as like, it's like a movie review, uh, dot half, so half a dot. Uh, I'll skip C for right now. D, the number of people attending a ball game and the length of the ball game that has really almost nothing to do with each other. I've been to games that are totally empty that go on forever. And the fact that the games are set up that way might be why no one goes, because who can stand to sit there for that long? Well. Um, a pitcher can't get any outs, and especially in baseball, a pitcher can't get any outs, and hitters don't get enough runs to make it in fast enough. So that might be why the stands are empty. And then I've been to some that are full, and they go a long time. People love it. So whatever. So I'm going to say, yeah, probably not. So the last one is probably our best bet. The temperature at a football game and the number of hot drinks sold. Assuming those hot drinks are sold at the football game, that would make sense. Now, someone like my father, who will drink uh, coffee pretty much regardless. I mean, he could be on the surface of uh, Mercury, and it's pr pretty hot there, being close to the sun and all. Um, then he'd still want a cup of coffee. That's just his thing. But lots of people aren't like that, or, or it could be hot cocoa. I don't know anybody that drinks tons of hot cocoa in the summer. So if it's cold enough, you will sell lots of hot drinks, and if it's warm, you probably won't sell very many of them because people will go for soda or other things. So we can say that the temperature is the reason they choose the drink to be hot, and you'll notice that the overriding factor in both is temperature. So the temperature leads to the uh, other temperature that you're trying to balance it out with. So the answer to number nine is C. We can say that how hot it is or cold it is a football game would really cause us to believe that more or less hot drinks are sold.